the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. I've been hit by it too. for the game. business here Skirtle Stock and he's onside it's a loose ball tries a through ball Stock. PSV can't seem to retain possession. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. This game is in need of some excitement. It needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Out it comes. It's Luc de Jong! Kjaar gets it away. Luc de Jong! Van Persie displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily... Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside, and I think you have to praise them all around on that one, from the pass and the finish. PSV break the deadlock. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. Now the pass. Bit offside that time. Into the channel, hurls himself at it, goal! And already they're looking to run away with it. Oh, super header, wonderfully acrobatic. Our strikers love a diving header and he timed that to perfection.
PSV can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Luke de Jong. He's made sure that, that won't get through. PSV being made to look sloppy in possession here. Got good distance on that. And the first half is done. PSV in control at half time, 2 0. <laughs> that gets things going for the second half. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And he's made certain that won't get through. Tries a long pass towards the front, and the counter is on. Well positioned to make that interception. Ball's loose, who's getting there? They go once more. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Gets into some space. So what now? It's a long forward pass. Forward it goes. And the flag has stayed down. Maya goes for a sweeping cross. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Stock. Oh, he's come up against the brick wall there. PSV haven't made a substitution yet. And it's Van Persen. Done very well to intervene. Stock. A real chance to break. Fine defending there. And 75 minutes on the clock now. Good interception. And it's stuck. They may well get a bit more joy down the flanks. They'll certainly find more space out there. Oh, he's come flying in. He's come loose. That's gone a long way up and away. PSV have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. Passes it through. Luke de Jong. It's Luke de Jong! Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. There goes the final whistle. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control. They did enough to win it. Your final thoughts, Jim? At times it was like Groundhog Day because of their continuous success in using width as the best route to goal. It worked a treat and it, it looked a treat. And, you know, it was a real risk and reward approach that gave them the crucial advantage. Thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.